Hey, hi. So today in this particular video, we'll see like why Pi M failing to connect Pi M to the server. Okay. So first, make sure like you have a proper internet connection. Okay. So if your system is disconnected from the internet, so it might not be able to connect to the server. So make sure like you have a internet connection to your system on which you are playing a 5M application or you are working on a 5M application okay so that is the first solution and uh, make sure like you have a proper bandwidth okay so make sure like uh, you are having a very good internet connection make sure like you are having a very good speed so then only you can fix this proper issue otherwise you will face the same issue by connecting your 5M to the server okay so that's the second solution and the third solution is to check your 5m server status okay so make sure go to the google.com and here you can just type check 5m server status so make sure like to check the server status okay suppose if there is any server down or if there is any issue with the if there is any issue with the server like it will be updated here if it is updated the downtime then you need not worry okay suppose if it is not having any server issue or if it is not having any downtime it, it will show us like no incidents reported today okay and coming to the third solution like disable firewall Try to temporarily disable the firewall on your system to see if the issue gets resolved or not. Okay, so what you can do is like to temporarily disable your firewall, just follow these specific steps. Open your Windows Security or Windows Defender Security Center, find the firewall and network protection or firewall and security section. Okay, then let then locate video or game launcher program on the list then disable the firewall access for the program so remember to re-enable the firewall when it is done okay so that's the third solution and the fourth solution is you have downloaded the recent version of the 5m application okay then finally you clear all the caches and cookies of the 5m application so what you can do is like you can close the 5M client completely. Please press the Windows key plus R on your keyboard. Like I will just show you the example. So here you can see like the run pop up is coming. So here you can type percentage local app data percentage. And I will just show you like how to do that. So here you can just type then you can press enter so here you can see the different different files so this will open the local app data folder locate and open 5m folder in that specific file in that specific folder inside the 5m folder you can you should see caches folder then right click on the cache folder then select delete from the context then confirm the delete when it's prompted once the cache folder is deleted you can restart the 5m client okay then verify the game name verifying the game name ensures that the necessary game data is intact and it's not corrupt okay so make sure like you're not downloaded any corrupted file so make sure like you have downloaded the original file okay so that can be done by following these specific steps open the steam client on your computer go to library and locate grand theft auto v in the list of games then right click on grand theft auto v select properties from the top down menu navigate to the local files tab then you can click on verify integrity of game files so that will initiate the verification process and it will take some time yes. okay then finally you can wait with steam to verify the game files and replace any corrupted or missing so that will replace any corrupted files or missing files by following these specific steps. 
okay and suppose if you are still facing any kind of issues what you can do is like you can just contact the support center of the fire application you can do you can go to contact fire support team and here you can see the submit request so here you can see the different, different options like help support ban appeals reporting okay, terms of service violation so you can just select any one of the option you can just submit the specific issue for which you are facing okay so that's all about this thank you